your government reserves are accumulated when there is a government budget, or you can use the word fiscal surplus. Okay. In other words, T minus G is positive. This is a surplus. Okay. When T minus G is positive, Maybe because you collected more taxes from GST this year, or you spend less because you postponed certain projects like Tuas Mega Port. Okay, then you have a budget surplus. I think we are aware of this, right? Next one foreign reserves are different, foreign reserves are accumulated. When there is a BOP surplus. Now, anyone remembers what is the formula for BOP? Is what minus or plus what? Current account minus capital and financial account. Very good. Minus capital and financial account. Okay, this is balance of payment. This is Completely different from your budget. Some students mix them up. How? I show you one case. Uh, okay, there was one case, huh? very, very painful, you know? I don't know if that student has uh, gotten over that pain. Okay, this question. From 2016 A-levels. 2016. Okay. This was during the time where you still have 25 mark essays. Now no more already. Okay. Now it's 10 and 15. This is 25 marks. Students were asked to assess the impact of a budget surplus. Okay. And my understanding, which I heard, okay, is one of the school's teacher's daughter who sat for this paper, right? Very strong student. Uh, but she read this as BOP. You know. Somehow in the exams, budget was misread as balance of payment. So the answer was totally wrong. Okay? And this is some things that happen in the exam. I don't know why, but they happen. Okay? So let's be very clear. I know the similarities. They both start with a B, lah, but that's, that's it. <laughs> okay? And you can see as a surplus or deficit. But budget surplus is T minus G, you know? Now we are talking about something else. This one. Different. Okay. So, let's see if we understand this correctly. With higher X or lower M, we get a current account surplus. Okay. Saturday spray boots, it contributes to a BOP surplus. Okay. And foreign reserves increase. Your notes will probably explain like this. But I have a question. When Singapore exports a lot, what exactly does this mean? It means your Singapore companies are selling a lot to other countries. Like there's a company that sells hospital beds Okay, and wheelchairs. So they are probably exporting a lot to uh, maybe to China. And these firms will make a lot of money that they keep in their pocket. How does it add on to the government or to their foreign reserves? What has this got to do with the country's reserves? Because the exporters are your profit-driven firms, you know. 
they don't contribute to the government reserves, you know. Likewise, the Singaporeans buy less imports. What has this got to do with foreign reserves? Have you ever wondered? It's a black box from here to here.